Hello everyone, it's Paul from Internet Marketing Hustle and today I'm going to show you how to set up a conversion pixel with Facebook ads and add it to your WordPress blog. Starting on facebook.com slash ads, we will click on the create an ad button and then we have the option to choose from various different types of results we want from our ads. Now the only one that will allow you to use a tracking pixel is website conversions so you can use other other types of ads if you want if you you know if you want page likes or page post engagements uh, you you can choose them that's fine but if you're looking to get website conversions and you're looking to use this tracking pixel have to select website conversions now you need to enter a URL to promote the page so this is going to be whatever page you want to promote so if you are just you know releasing a new product uh, you have perhaps something you want people to sign up to you want to send them to that page this is this is the external page that you want people to be sent to when they click on the Facebook ad so just for the sake of this test I am just gonna put in my website URL let's click it and then it will ask me seems to be taking its time um, about a tracking pixel so you can see it's a small piece of code that lets you measure the actions people take on your website now you might not have a clue what this is uh, I'm guessing if you're reading my article you hopefully understand what it is now so we have two options we have choose a category and we also have a name now don't be too worried about this if you can't find a category that you know, matches what exactly what you want to do it's just to help you to organize your pixels so for this we want we want people to register and we'll just call it ebook let's click on create a pixel and now it's saying that it isn't verified so that's fine that's because we haven't actually added it to the WordPress blog yet so we'll choose I can add the pixel to my website and there is the code so this is what you want to add to your WordPress blog and we'll be doing that through a plugin which takes out all of the hard work and we just have to copy and paste this into whatever page we want so let's select that and let's copy it now if we open up a new page in our WordPress blog so this is going to be as I said it's going to be the page that you want to send people to when they're finished whatever process they need to go through so if they're purchasing something you know you want to send them to the thank you for purchasing this product page you know whatever they do at the end if they sign up their email address you know to download something you want to add this code to the final page where it says you know thanks for downloading thanks for subscribing blah 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 don't put it on your actual landing page because then it won't work uh, because you know potential uh, visitors haven't actually converted yet when they come to that page and Facebook doesn't know that so it's just going to tell you that it, you have loads of conversions when you actually don't so I've just created a quick page uh, obviously you want to spend a bit more time with this uh, obviously this is the page that people are going to see once they're finished buying my product now if you scroll down you'll see that we have this box here the Facebook pixel conversion code what you want to do is you want to select the tick box to insert it and then all you need to do is paste it in and then you just click on publish obviously I've already published it so I'll just click on update now the next part stumped me for a little bit it caused me uh, a few minutes of head scratching because I just couldn't get it to verify and what you need to do is you need to make sure that you load the page you need to load the actual page because then it loads the actual code and it communicates with Facebook uh, at the moment without the page loaded it's not the code isn't actually working so if we come back to Facebook we will see that it's saying that it's you know still not verified that's fine just click on continue and then if we scroll up you'll see that we've got this little red dot saying that it isn't verified that's fine all we need to do is click on refresh and you can see that it is now working because it has received the code from this page and there it is there's the tracking pixel in place and now we can go ahead and create our ads